Good morning, Sarge family. Welcome back to another vlog. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today is gonna be a sad and exciting vlog. And that's because today's the day I am finally going home. I've been here for almost three months, literally shy of like a few days. And I get to finally see Shadia, Layla, and Rania. I miss them so much. It's been like almost a month, I think, since I've seen them, since they've left. I think it's been like 23 days since I've seen them, maybe 24 days, something like that. Almost a month. It's been a long time since I've seen the girls. I'm very excited to go back home. Unfortunately, I'll be getting home on the next day. It's a Tuesday right now, so I'll be getting home Wednesday at like 3 o'clock in the morning. Honestly, I don't care. I just want to go home and see the girls. I'm so excited to finally be leaving. But the reason why I'm sad is because I'm leaving this place behind. And I'm very sad to leave this place behind. I don't want to leave this place behind. I love this place. But it is what it is. Just finished cleaning up everything because right now I'm about to drive Angelo to the airport because Angelo is leaving earlier than I am. He's leaving in the morning. It's morning time right now and I'm leaving in the evening. We got to do so much while we're out here. We filmed so much as well. I'm so happy. We did a lot of vlogs with the family when they were here and I did a lot of vlogs with Angelo and Aldo as well. And I got to explore a lot of places that I've been wanting to explore while I'm out here in the Dominican Republic. Like, you know, going to Santo Domingo, went there a couple times, went there with Shadi and then went there with the boys we filled some cool haunted stuff out here we went to a lot of abandoned resorts i think i am officially sick of abandoned resorts i kind of want to go back to filming like haunted houses and like haunted asylums and stuff and just other abandoned stuff in north america are you sick of abandoned resorts <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think, yeah i think we've had our fair share of abandoned resorts no more but yeah angelo's gonna be going to the airport i'm gonna miss you we were supposed to go to Japan together, but that ain't happening no more. It's okay. No, I'm still going. He's still going to Japan. You guys can keep up with him on his Japan adventures when he goes there. But I was supposed to go to Japan literally next week. Like I had my flights booked and everything. And even Shadia was supposed to come with me. Me, Shadia, and Angelo, and then whoever else joins us can join us. And we're gonna do this like 20 day trip in Japan, going all over filming the coolest stuff. But it didn't work out. Something business related happened. Something like negative happened. So I'm like, oh, and this is not a good time for this to happen. I gotta go back to Canada and deal with it, deal with all these things that are happening right now before I can travel again. So yeah, and also kind of happy that I'm not going because yo, I don't get to see, like I didn't see my kids for like 24 days and I would have been going back to Canada for like four days or five days before I head to Japan. So that wouldn't have been enough time to see Layla and Rania. Like literally today or tomorrow, by the time I get to Canada, Layla's gonna be turning eight months old, which is crazy. I wanna spend some time with the family, with the kids. I did have a lot of fun out here. I love this place, I love this country. There are a lot of negatives to this place, but there's also a lot of positives as well. So yeah, today's gonna be a travel vlog. I think I might actually hit the beach after I drop Angelo off at the airport, because I'm not leaving until like 6, 7 p.m. So I'll probably take you guys to the beach a little bit. While he's on an airplane, I'm gonna be at the beach. Oh well. Are you actually excited to go back home? Mixed emotions. We do. We do. We all have mixed emotions. I should have just gone straight to Japan from here. You actually should have. I don't know why you didn't. Well, I got stuff to do at home. Yeah, he's got to go get his teddy bear. Pretty much. Yeah. Japanese teddy bear. My Japanese teddy bear. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get my charm. You're charming. <laughs> Good morning, coconuts. <laughs> I'm gonna miss these coconuts, man. I've been eating so many of them every day. I think there's like four big ones left over here. There's like five little ones that are growing. But, you know, my guests that rent my house, because my house is actually rented tomorrow. Like, I'm leaving today and the Airbnb rentals literally are already coming in. It's high season right now. Everyone's trying to come out here for March break and for the spring break. So my house is gonna be rented. If you guys wanna rent my house, I will leave a link down below. You guys can rent it. I don't know if it's fully booked. I don't deal with that. I have a property manager that deals with all that stuff. But yeah, if you guys wanna rent this place, you can. The links are down below. But I really am going to miss it, man. Like I have such good memories at this place. This is my, like I love this place. This is my baby. I call this house my baby. Especially when the weather's this nice, like it's 35 Celsius out here. I got to build a swing with Rania. That was one of my f funnest memories. Although she only sat on it and used it once or maybe twice. <laughs> but I got to, you know, do something I've always wanted to do is build a swing for my daughter. And uh, you know what? I'm going to write something on this later. I'm going to write something. You know, some of my favorite memories is me and Rania, like off camera, I never showed you guys this, but we would just run around the house, like we play hide and seek all the time, and we have so many fun memories together. I told you guys this is going to be an emotional vloggy vlog, and I'm getting pretty emotional about it. 
there's a lot of drawbacks about being out here too. There's always something going wrong, something breaking, something happening. You gotta fix something. Money, 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 money. Having a house out here costs way more money to upkeep than having a house back in Canada. Like literally, you're always fixing something because of the weather and the elements and you know, the ocean being so close to us too. That's why I don't want to be right on the ocean when I bought my house. Originally, I wanted a house on the ocean, but after I bought it, I'm like, yeah, maybe it was probably a good idea that I didn't buy a house right on the water because that would have been really, really bad. I'm gonna miss you papaya tree. I'm gonna miss you big giant palms. I'm gonna miss you bushes. I'm gonna miss you little bushes. I'm also gonna miss this little papaya that's growing here right now. <laughs> Damn, it would've been nice to eat that. But you know what? I guess the guests can eat it once it finally grows. I'm gonna miss you half cut fan palm that I cut down and didn't bother cutting the rest of it down. I'm gonna miss you swimming pool. I'm gonna miss you two floaties. And most of all, I'm gonna miss this wall. This wall. We have a lot of good memories together. <laughs> Goodbye wall. I'm gonna miss you barbecue. You were a good barbecue to me. Please be good to other people too. And don't catch fire like you did with me a million times. Time to drive Angelo to the airport. Uh, it's such a beautiful day here in Pearl Marina. It is. So beautiful. I'm gonna miss this tree. This tree is like the best tree ever. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna miss, miss it so random. much. Wait, what's going on over here? Is it a powwow? I think it's a powwow. I think so. <laughs> what is going on? They're burning something. It smells really weird. <laughs> what the heck is... All right, we had to reenact that because we were driving <laughs> through here and then we see like what looks like like native people sitting on the lawn smoking some stuff having a powwow Except none of them are native no <laughs> <laughs> most of them are white <laughs> a bunch of white people having a powwow i believe in uh in canada this would be called cultural appropriation something justin trudeau is really good at yeah yeah what the hell that was just red that's the most random thing i've ever seen in my life I have never seen a line this long getting into this airport. It's usually literally nobody here. Everybody's probably flying at the exact same time. Good luck. <laughs> Even though you're checked in online, you still gotta yeah. wait in that line for the bags, which is gonna suck. Passes. That's one thing I don't like about the airports here. Even if you check in online, you still gotta wait in line to check to throw your bags in or whatever. Um, like in some places in Canada, you just throw the bags on a machine and it takes it for you. That's why you don't gotta wait in no lines. But nope, not the DR. The DR is behind on a lot of stuff. Goodbye, still. cows. There's a cow at the airport? There's two. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That is a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, Angelo. Goodbye. We love you. Yeah. Have a safe flight back. Good luck in these lineups. Yeah. <laughs> I'm definitely going to need it. <laughs> Yo, it is absolutely crazy, crazy busy out in this airport. Yeah, it's like so busy. Hopefully it's not gonna be this busy when I leave tonight. Man, I'm getting like PTSD just being here because when I dropped Shadia and the kids off when they left last month, I was so sad. I like was tearing up and stuff and just reminding me of that right now. Whew. Now I'm back to being alone once again at the airport <laughs> or in the Dominican Republic. It's always me being alone. Isn't that crazy? 
What do you guys say we go for one last beach adventure? Gotta really be careful today. The sun is extra hot. Almost in April and it's like 35 Celsius today. But once I get in that sun, I feel it. I haven't burnt once yet in almost three months. Surprisingly, I haven't burnt once. I'm, I am really dark though compared to what I was when I came here, but hoping today's not the day where I do get burnt. Oh my, my, my. You know what? This is probably the calmest I've seen our beach. Literally, this is the calmest. It's the last day. And it's the calmest that I've seen it. What the hell? That's not even fair. <laughs> I could have done snorkeling here, man. I'm actually really pissed off. Because this is literally the calmest I've ever seen it. And look at how much sand we've got now. Like, there's so much sand. The sand's come back. That rock is almost completely enveloped with sand. This is not fair. Literally for like the last two and a half months, I've been coming to the beach to check on the conditions to see if I can snorkel here because we have a lot of good reefs here, but you need conditions like this to be able to see anything. And it happened to be the last day and I don't have my snorkels with me. I put everything away, which sucks. Oh my God, the sand is so hot. Wow. Now this is perfect snorkeling conditions. I am still so pissed. Literally absolutely pissed off. I guess I'm gonna enjoy my last swim <clears throat> without my snorkels. This is a treat, honestly. Thank you, God. I literally thank God every day I come out here. But extra, extra thank you today because it's so perfect to swim in. Woo! So yeah, for those of you that are interested in renting my place, this is what you can have. This is literally in your backyard. A beautiful blue clear beach. On a clear day, obviously. <laughs> wow, not a wave in sight. Let's go see if there's anything in there. Yo, I swear to God, I just saw like a dolphin or a shark or a seal, one or the other, something down there. Or it could be somebody diving out there, I don't know, but I seen a fin, a really big one too. Alright guys, it is that moment. I am finally about to go and head to the airport. I've got everything locked down, fans running. My maids are coming in tomorrow because they're gonna clean the place up because the house is rented. But I always like to keep the fans on just to keep the airflow circulating. Especially now because it's like freaking hot out here. But yeah man, this is gonna be the last time I see my house for a long while probably. I don't know, maybe throughout the summer I might come by for a, a day or two or a week or so. But this is gonna be the last time that uh, I'm gonna be here for a while. Next year, Ranya starts school. So we're not gonna be here for this long um, if we do come back here next winter. But I think next winter I want to take the family somewhere else. Somewhere completely different. Yeah, checking everything. Looks good, man. I'm gonna miss this place. This place, my heart will always be here. I don't know, I just, I just love this place. Rania's swing. Jumping into the next day, I am officially back home to the Canada house. I got a haircut today, so I don't have my hair done up or nothing. I look all whack. Actually, you've been here, this is my second day here. I didn't vlog the very same night that I got here. I got here at like four o'clock in the morning. The next day after that, I was just too busy and tired to do anything. But yeah, it's actually been two days since I got back home. I'm trying to fix my hair. I'm trying to fix this damn haircut of mine. Well, hello, Shadia. Hi. We got Shadia. Look at that, guys. Back. Everyone's been asking about you. Really? Yeah. Why me? I feel like it's not the same. Like, if I don't come home and like vlog, like you know, your reactions, it's not the same. But yeah, this is Shadia. Well, my reaction was at like 4 a.m., so yeah. I was like asleep, half asleep. Yeah, I literally <laughs> had to Uber home. She was half asleep. I feel like you're asleep right now. Oh <laughs> my <laughs> God! What you got going on here, fashionista? <laughs> Ronya did her own makeup. I she love it. She touched my makeup while I was away. Ronya, say hello to the Sarji family. Hi. 
They all missed you. Did you miss them? I know you guys all miss the family. You missed the Canada house. You missed the vlogs. And most of all, our eight month old. She's eight months now. Little Layla turned eight months yesterday. She's, guys, this girl is a hellraiser. She's jumping up, like literally standing already. She's so cute. She's standing and walking around her crib. Yes. Like she'll hold on to this and start yes. walking around her crib. Yeah, you're in for a surprise. Yeah. <laughs> Layla is not the Layla that we knew in the past, especially back in the Dominican. You mean uh, you, because you were away, so you feel yeah. like it's different. Well, she grew so much as you were gone. I know. It, it was to like 25 days where I didn't see you guys. Yeah. And like she got so much heavier, so much taller, and like crazier. Like she's running around like crazy around the house. Which is, not literally running around. But like crawling but, around yeah, is what yeah, I yeah. mean. She's <laughs> insane. Unfortunately, we don't have a beautiful pool in the backyard, but at least we don't have snow. Well, we do have a pool in the summertime. We have a pool, but yeah, I gotta put, to it, put together. it together. But what I'm saying is there's no snow, mm -hmm. which is good. It is cold, really cold. I haven't left the house since I got here. So it's like minus three outside mm -hmm. Celsius. It's gonna be in the pluses next week. So I'm very excited after this weekend, it's gonna start getting warmer out here. I mean, the whole time I was gone, apparently it was like 11, 14 Celsius, really warm for the winter, for like February, Dad, March season. Yes, I want to tell you. What? When it gets sun, Summertime, we can swim in summer. You want to swim in summer? Yeah. Did you have a lot of fun swimming back in the Dominican? Yep. Yeah? Mm -hmm. How much did you miss daddy though is what I want to know. A hundred. A hundred? Why do you look like you just finished a long shift and you just want to like go and sit in a bubble bath? <laughs> You're so cute. I love you. I think you need that. I feel like I need more than that. I'm still deaf in my left ear, guys. Like it's still closed from diving in Sasua Beach. It freaking messed up my ear. I still can't hear nothing out of it. It's so annoying to talk because I, I, I like hear like a weird like humming in my, not a humming, but it's like echoey in my head. It just doesn't feel right. I feel unbalanced. It really, really sucks. But yeah, so you guys can start expecting wait. family vlogs from now on. Wait, wait. What's Are you happy about that, Mom? I'm happy. I'm happy. Are you happy to be a family again? I am happy to yeah? be a family again. Yeah. I, I really am. Your energy doesn't feel like it. I'm fasting. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I have, haven't had an espresso. It's oh, 4, it's 4 I p.m. Oh, I forgot how addicted you are to espresso. Yeah, well, duh. It's 4 p.m. and it's Ramadan, which is why we have the Ramadan wait, decorations wait, wait. over here. Let's show them what the weather. The what? Well, weather. Oh, well, what are we showing them? We're showing them. Them the okay, you go, you go outside. No, I don't want to show. I don't want to open that, it's that door. Really cold outside. It is. It's so cold. Yeah. I opened it earlier just to check, and it was freezing. Really windy. Look at this girl. Her and her gloves. So Shadia is preparing Ramadan meals yes. for us today. We're having beef ribs. So she's making beef ribs. Yeah, of course you're gonna eat. Them. You're gonna eat too. We're not gonna leave you not eating, girl. Give me a bell So yeah, Shadia is preparing a big meal for us today. It's gonna be my first meal here back. Wait, no, you made me something yesterday. I made yesterday. What did, you, what did we eat? I made burgers. Oh, yeah, that was and good. And I made... Uh, I don't remember. That's how lost I am. Oh, yeah. At, like, midnight, Shadia yeah. made us shrimp dumplings, edamame, <laughs> and what else? And, like, miso, soup, miso with soup with dumplings in it. It was really good. I actually I had a video clip of it. Of. Yeah, it was really good. I actually enjoyed that. Yeah, it was actually good. It was, like, so random at midnight. With the, with the sriracha sauce? Yeah, it was... You have to have the sriracha, because... Yeah. No, it was actually good. You did yeah. good. But she made it at midnight, which is crazy. Because it's for Suhoor. For Suhoor. For Suhoor, I yeah. mean. Okay. I like it. Yeah. Why are you guys being so awkward and weird? You're the one who's being awkward and weird. <laughs> <laughs> if only you can see yourself right now. Bro, I, look, I, I literally look half asleep. And honestly, I've been up all day playing with Rania and then like a shady just got back home. Bro! But it's been two hours. Uh, yep, two hours is too much. Stop Chill. All morning Bro, it's all been day. three hours. Anyways, I was like editing early in the morning and I'm editing. I'm so I'm trying to drop back to back main channel videos. Bless you. I'm trying to drop back to back main channel videos starting Monday. And I think Shad is jealous of my tan. I'm really not. Yeah, yeah, you're definitely you jealous. Yeah. No, you're jealous. No, you're jealous of my tan. Reality check. No, you're jealous of my tan. I honestly think you're just not used to being like, you know, taking care of someone now. You're just jealous of my tan and my hair. Sure. <laughs> I love driving this girl crazy. Listen, you thought it actually doesn't drive me crazy. Uh-huh. It just makes you look crazy. No, it drives you crazy. <laughs> I wish Layla was awake, but you guys are going to have to see Layla in the next vlog. I'm going to go ahead and end off this vlog. I think I'm going to start a new vlog tomorrow. I don't know because like, wait, yo, Ramadan wait, has gotten me wait, tired. Wait, wait, it's not wait, even been a day. <laughs> Bro, it got me tired. God help me. Don't say goodbye. Why? 
I'm going to show you something. What do you want to show me? Cut. Alright, here we go. She wants to show you the Ribbon No, she wants to show me some nail polish. Well, that's what you fix right now. What are you going to show me, girl? I'm going to do my nails. You're going to do your nails? Oh, so cool. Mm -hmm. Just don't get it on the table, Mama. Okay. That's so beautiful. And she's blowing <laughs> I love it. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead and end it off. Drop no. this video. No, Hold she doesn't want to end the vlog. <laughs> she just wants to vlog all day. Yeah, we'll we'll start another vlog, okay? She's vlogging. I'm gonna end this vlog because we're gonna make another one. Where? Later. No. Say goodbye to the Sarji family. No. Say goodbye to the Sarji no. family. Oh, Layla's awake. Oh no, Layla's awake. Well, I guess you guys are gonna get to see Layla waking up. Wait, let's see. If she just stands up. Oh, hello, pretty girl. Hello, pretty girl. <laughs> so, when I showed up to the house, I didn't see Rania right away. She was asleep. It was like 4 a.m. She woke up at 5 a.m. and she was very surprised that I was here. She went crazy. And then Layla, I didn't see her till the next day, and she had no idea who I was. Like, she was like, who is this random guy in the house? She wanted nothing to do with me, but now she's starting to open up to me. Hello, beautiful girl. There she is. <laughs> Come on. You want to get up? You wanna get up? Let's go. come on. Oh, she's like, no, I'm going back to bed. <laughs> oh, look at this pretty girl. Hello, beautiful girl. Mama. Hello. Mama. <laughs> bubble, bubble. I actually miss her so much. Bubble, bubble, pop. Bubble, bubble, pop. <laughs> You're such bubble, a cutie pie. Bubble. Oh, here comes the jealousy. Yeah, are you in the principal's chair? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing in the principal's chair? I'm just looking at the trees. Well, give me some it, more energy. You need more energy? Yeah. Bro. So, I feel like your voice is so like... Blah, 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 so the blah. video that I'm editing right now is an abandoned resort video and uh -huh. I filmed it while fasting. It was the first day of Ramadan. And bro, my energy in that video, I'm sorry guys, it's probably going to put you to sleep, but it's a good video, but my energy was down, down, down. I'll try to be more energetic in tomorrow's vlog. I just feel like if we're not, you know, full of energy altogether, then there's no energy. You know what I mean? I just got to get used to not having espresso all the time. Right? Yeah. Right, little girl? Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it beats her mom. Yeah, I don't want to end. I don't want to end. <laughs> all right, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and end off this vlog. I would like to film more with the family, but I have no energy to do so. And I got to also get another video out for you guys. Got to get a main channel video out. And a vlog so i want to start dropping back-to-back -back videos on the main channel and now that i'm back home i can have more time and because like when you're in the dr all you want to do is just swim and, and go on adventures like it's hard to just sit at home and focus on videos and content and editing like you just want to be out and about and doing stuff and that's what i was doing every day but now that i'm back home finally have my gym i can actually start working out again finally have my actual office and we're going to be pumping out a lot of videos coming real real soon love you guys don't forget to be do you stay positive and just live a little and if you want to get some live a little merch the links are down below